to begin, use the 5 16th inch socket to remove the 11 screws securing the hopper end panel. Remove the panel. Disconnect the green and white wires from the fan. Remove the two screws connecting the control panel assembly to the hopper. Pull out the control box and open to gain access to the back side of the green circuit board. Open the programming kit containing the ribbon cable and the programming device. First, insert the 6-pin female plug of the ribbon cable into the 6-pin terminal block on the control panel. The correct orientation is with the red wire of the cable up closest to the transformer. Next, insert the 10-pin female plug of the ribbon cable into the 10-pin socket on the programmer. Note, the circuit board 6-pin connection must always be made first. With both connections correctly installed, the LED light labeled Error will flash green, then go off. If the error light flashes red, then there is a bad connection. Remove both connections and start the procedure over again. A red error light may also indicate a weak battery in the programmer. If this is the case, replace it with a 9-volt battery. Press and release the program button to initiate the update. The green light will blink rapidly for several times. When the light ceases to flash, the update process is complete. Reinstall the control box assembly into the front of the pellet hopper using the two screws. Reconnect the fan wires. Reinstall the hopper end panel using the 11 screws. For more information, call 877-409-6337 or contact us online at yodersmokers.com.